Here are the tools that we'll be using to get us started on this project. At the top left, I have a styrofoam bowl. It's uh, simple, cheap, and you can throw it away or keep it for further projects. I have at the top right hand corner black acrylic and white acrylic. At the bottom left, there is masking tape, which can be used for a thousand different things, but this way it keeps her line straight and we can keep her ocean horizon level. Uh, over in the middle, we have a big two inch. Uh, Chinese boar natural bristle hair brush. It's uh, inexpensive also. Uh, over to the right we have uh, two liner brushes. One, uh, they're both small should I say. One smaller than the other. It just helps with fine lines, detail. Um, under that don't forget the most important thing is we have paper towels. That's a painter's best friend. Now let's go on to the project. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to reach over here and get my masking tape. I'm going to find the horizon line to start with. Let's see here. I'd say about, about right there. We have to check and make sure that this is level. So we want it to be as level as possible. We don't want our water to run off the picture. So. That would create a big mess, wouldn't it? So let's not do that. So I'm going to wrap that around just a little bit. Leaving it kind of flipped up here so I can get pull it back off easy without having to dig for it. Rub that down. Just like that right there. Okay. Lay that down. Now I've got some black acrylic over here in my small bowl, as you can see. I'm going to take a big brush and I'm going to paint that black underneath right here. Okay. Got my big brush, let's go. Just like you're painting a wall. See that? By the way, I think I may have forgot to mention that I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. You can simply use any size you want, 18 by 24, 20 by 24, 24 by 36. But you have to think about proportions. You don't want those to get out of the way, okay? Because if you make a small lighthouse on there, you're going to have to make everything big around it. <laughs> so let's just stick with this one. That's why I chose 16 by 20. Good common framing size also. That's always a good tip to remember is what's framer friendly. This is black, doesn't look like it's going to be water right now, but it will. It will give this time to dry after we get it on. And you'll see how magical it appears. Just simply paint this. We can paint up to the tape. If we get a little on the tape, don't worry about it. Because we're going to peel that back off, give us a sharp line. Preparing the canvas is always the painter's most critical part, is pre preparation. If you prepare the way, it makes it less hard as you go along. And it makes people wonder what all you did, but we won't tell them that. We'll keep that a secret. It's simple. I think I'm going to have to get some more acrylic, though. I think I'm running out of acrylic. Over here and grab a little. All right. Nothing seems like nothing more rewarding than painting. I'm sure there's other things, but to me, I love to paint. And I love to share it with other people. That's where I get my enjoyment sharing it with other people also. Because I'm very happy with, uh, very seldom happy, should I say, with what I do. And artists should be that way. Because whenever you're 
not happy with it, then it lets you strive. I'm not to say that I'm 100% dissatisfied, but what I'm trying to say is I can do better next time. Do better. And that's what I want you to do is to think I can always do better. It'll keep your drive going for your painting. Well, we're about done with this bottom part right here already. Get all that started. See there? Didn't take very long. You might have a few little pores there in that canvas has a texture. Now, these canvases are primed already with white gesso when you buy them. Usually they should have should be double primed. If not, then if they're not double primed, look for something else. Now that this right here is completed, what I'm gonna do is Take just a few minutes, let it dry. It'll probably take about 30 minutes, so we're going to go on to something okay, else. Okay, now it done. looks like it's dry enough to go ahead and start, or at least at the top part right here. I've checked it out. So I'm going to peel the tape off, just like so. Okay, throw that away. Grab my tape. Got my good old masking tape ready. Next thing I like to do is try to put in the, where the... Uh, lighthouse will be so go right here tear off a piece I guess that looks about like a foot long I guess a lot of stuff you can measure it for more accuracy probably come out better that way but let's see here let's bring that over just a little bit about right there I'm gonna let that come down there about that far I'm going to go over here, find the same place. And I'm letting it get a little wider at the bottom. Right here is wider. I'm letting it come out because they're narrow at the top but wide at the bottom, okay? So let's tear that off. Get that right there. That, that should help you a lot. This, These lines should really help because it lets your lines be straight. See, this goes down where the ocean will be. And at the top part right there, I'm just going to take a piece of tape and simply put across like that right there. Okay, just like that. Go back to my, let's see, go back to my big brush and some acrylic and some of the black acrylic and let's go into it. I cleaned my brush out by the way. Keep those brushes good and clean right uh, acrylic paint can ruin them when it dries. It just takes 30 minutes and it'll be very hard to get it out. Okay, let's just paint inside the tape. See, this is gives us a, like a little template. Just paint inside of it. Just like that. See there? Paint right down through there. Now, there's a lot of painting and waiting. Painting and waiting. So it, it takes about, probably about an hour to do this, to do it right. So kind of be patient with yourself, okay? We've edited and cut it a lot of time out. So uh, just take your time, work with it, okay? Be patient. Okay, now I got to let that dry. Okay, now that this is dry, let's go to the next step. Use that liner brush with some of the white acrylic this time. So, What I want to do is go inside this and just paint on the tape mostly and just let a little bit run over the tape so it'll give me a line of where my lighthouse will come down to. See here? Just like that. Now then. That gives me an easy line. I'll just draw that and leave it. Okay. Put that in the what? Set this down. Let's go right up here and peel some of this tape on. To do just a little bit. It's kind of a purple color. 
where it's mixed with those colors on the canvas. But that's that's good. I like that. Get that blending brush that I was using. Oh yeah. Make some nice colors come alive inside of those clouds. It's very light touch, very light touch. Sort of three stages in these clouds. You build it with a fan brush, you blend it with the tip of a one, two inch brush, then you fluff up, then we come across that way. Maybe that's four. Can't count. <laughs> okay. Next, use the fan brush again. Let's go to this side over here. See what we can come up with. Maybe there's one kind of hanging around up here at the top. All right. Use that blending brush. This one. Now then. These will pair like clouds on the horizon. That's what I like about them. They just look like they're fluffy clouds way off on the edge of the earth. So, yeah, I think you'll enjoy making these very well. All right, let's see. Just like so. It's always a fun part. We all like to have fun. Nevertheless, moving on, let's start with the water. Okay, using that brush that had that dark blue on it, let's go in straight into that brush in the blue. And let's just wiggle in some blue right there. Back and forth, let's cut it in. careful when you get to the edge of that horizon though, push that paint up there on that dry spot. You don't want to get it into the sky and make green again like I was saying. So we have to be careful with that. see that but it's there. Okay, if you do get it up there a little bit, just work with it. Put your little cloud over that. Okay. Next thing we need to do is work on waves. So let's go into that. Titanium white on the fan brush. Start right up here. Let's start right there. Kind of give it a sweeping motion like this right here. See that? Gives it up. It's like it's moving. Separate them the closer they get. 
to you and move them around. And this water's flowing and rocking back and forth like this. Let's go into some of that raw umber that we have. Just a little bit of that together. A little bit of red. A Start on that lighthouse. And we'll go to this white to lighten it up some. Okay. Cut me a roll across on the knife, pull it up flat, cut across. Got a nice roll on it. Okay. Go up to the lighthouse up here. Follow me up here. And let's see if we can pull some of that in there. Add a little more red, I'd make it a little more dramatic. Yeah. We got it, just that simple. lay that brush down. Okay, now let's go back to the top of the lighthouse. Let me grab some thin oil with my liner brush. Go into some that dark mixture that we just made for building it. Van Dyke Brown, some of the raw sienna, some of the bright red. There we go. Now let's just fill in some of this. You have to kind of keep a steady hand on this thing here. Just follow that out. Just go over what you did earlier. Like that. We'll lay in those rails in a little darker color so they'll show up on this lighter color. So let's pull down here because this. I think it needs to be like metal on top. Old rusty metal stuff. He's got shadow so we can use the same color. And that over. Just like that. Remember, if it's not thin, thin enough, just dip it into thin oil and swirl it around, sort of like this right here, then just twist it. It should be real thin, almost like ink. Now, go up here to the top. There's a little cap on right there. Oh, my hand's not in the way. So you can get a real good view of what I'm doing, I'll drop down a little bit. Like that. Like 